Good morning, gamers. Um, on the suggestion of one of my Patreons, I decided to stream a game called Super Seducer by this guy, Richard. And uh, what I thought was just going to be a fun, cheeky little pickup artist game has turned into a full-on existential crisis for me. Not only is this guy's advice horribly wrong, horribly detrimental and horribly bad, but he actually got me angry. Like, I can see why people have such negative connotations about guys doing pickup, because he did just about everything you could wrong. It was very weird and manipulative in that, so... I made it a little bit of the ways through there, and I'll let you guys enjoy it as best you can here. Hopefully offer a couple tidbits. I wish I could get through the whole game, but the thing was complete garbage. But uh, I'll leave you to it. Watch the footage and check it out for yourself. <laughs> I don't know this guy. I don't know what he's doing. I have no idea if this game's any good or not. My impression watching it was it was going to be like those old 90s CD-ROM games where it was watching a bunch of video and then solving some goofy little puzzles here. Having said that, for about 15 bucks a pop, that's some pretty lazy work from the game developer side, but if I had to take a guess, I have a feeling that this is more designed for him to shill some online pickup artist course, so we'll see if he's any good or if he's doing anything impressive. Yeah, I don't need advice book. Don't give me the advice book, you son of a girl on the street. How do you pick up Karen walking around? in the suburbs by yourself talk to her from a few meters in front of her and slightly to the side pretty sure that's london day game i remember them saying uh you're supposed to do it's called like an indirect approach i never bothered with that when it was me it was just you know walking stopping at a street corner or whatever making an observation and then talking to the person beside me it was more so me just going out and doing it as part of my day pretend to be blind Okay, I don't know. If you want to lie to women, go for it. Wolf Whistle, again, I'm not a construction worker, but kudos to you. Feminists probably love that one. Uh, wait till she's passing you, then talk to her. Of course, because nothing a girl likes better than when she has to turn around just to hear what you're saying. Like, dude, that's how homeless guys beg for change. And then there's walking next to her. At that point, you might as well just, uh, you might as well just wolf whistle, and then, yo, what up, girl, while walking with her. I don't know. I'm not a rapper. I don't think I could pull it. So I'm gonna play it as legit. Talk to her a few meters in front, slightly to the side. What is this? He's pulling like the Joaquin Phoenix thing. Is he on Letterman gonna start spitting gum on the desk? Dude, this isn't even a game. Who suggested I play this? This is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> this is hooked on phonics for the, the sexually deprived. Like what the hell? Oh boy. I already know what we're in for here. I have a feeling I'm gonna get about 10 more minutes into this thing. Guy knows nothing about game design. All right, anyways, I saw you and I wanted to let you know you look very elegant. I don't know why you would compliment a girl when you first met her, because right there, the first thing anybody's gonna think is what does he want from me? And obviously what he wants from her is, yeah, anyways. Um, hey, do you have a minute? Again, I don't like that one either because that's a yes or no question. And if a girl's got any ounce of sense, she's gonna say no to anything you ask her because she's not an idiot. Hey, don't I know you from one of my yoga classes? So far, it's the best out of the bunch, but that's not what I would have gone with. Didn't we both go to the same college? Like, dude, I don't like any of these answers um, at all. No, of course she doesn't do yoga. Yeah, she said no on all of your answers, you dope. All right, so let's see what answer he's trying to go with here. Um, I'm going to skip the ones where you automatically start with a compliment because that's kind of needy. Didn't we go to the same college? Hey, do you have a minute? See what he means? Every question here is a no answer. Oh, he's probably going to do this telemarketer crap too, isn't he? No, actually. Yeah. Why not? Okay, so he's already established. You're not supposed to ask yes or no questions. The only... Okay, so seriously, I have to say she looks like elegant, call her Yas Queen. I'm going to assume he's not going to tell you to go down on her. So let's just go with this one. Can I tell you something really quickly? Sure. Oh, the yes or no question. <laughs> Moron. You're making me smile right now, Drake Gregory. Like, he's awkward as hell. I'm assuming because he's tall and somewhat charming, and he's paying her to be an actress in this one, that it kind of works, but I have never walked up to anybody 
with anything approaching any of these options and had any kind of success. I don't care if I'm asking an old lady for the time. Oh, I wasn't really paying attention to what he was saying. <laughs> well, the, the, the boyfriend thing, whatever. I don't mind guys being effeminate when they approach. God knows I was a metrosexual when I was doing it hardcore, so I don't even judge, but... All right, ignore that. Um, the first thing you do with an opener is talk about something that's not about her or about you. Talk about something around you. I can see myself just asking. It's like 45 degrees out. Or I guess I should do it in American. You sh it's like 80 degrees out. Why are you wearing a scarf? Put her right on the spot right then and there. And just genuinely curious. Big grin on my face. Whatever. This is going to be dumb. If any of you guys think that as soon as you get so much as a hello from a girl, you should just start leaning in and making out with her, then you deserve what you get. <laughs> All right. So ask her questions to get her to do most of the talking or you do most of the talking. Um... I don't know why you expect her to talk to you, so that's stupid. So you're obviously going to have to start talking. Troy actually just tweeted about this yesterday. When you first meet somebody, you're going to have to run your mouth because they need to get comfortable with you. And this is where you're kind of leading with good body language and how you can string a sentence together. Oh. See that? Yeah, tell me why it's great, buddy. The girl in the back is so bored. I'm not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> I don't know why he didn't think that I could maybe prepare a script so this conversation doesn't look so goddamn awkward. <laughs> hey, um, I was just doing my taxes and then I saw you walking over there and you worked really kind. So I thought I would walk up and say hello. And here's every one of my inner thoughts. And please don't find me awkward. Like, dude. Ugh. Why did you guys suggest I play this? This is absolute nonsense. <laughs> All right. So there was one thing in there that was right. Or two things. The first time when he said, don't ask yes or no questions. Makes perfect sense. Um, everything else he said was ridiculous. And I've never seen it work ever on me or anybody else. Naturals or not. Um, what was that? Sec I don't even remember what the second thing is, but I'm sure there was. Oh, yeah. It was the only options were to sexually harass her or just start talking. At least that was, you know, something. Use checking out her earrings as an excuse to touch her. Again, a little early for that. If she wanted you to touch her, she would she would break the quarantine barrier that you guys got going on right now for a game that came out in, what, uh, 2015 or 16 or something like that? You figure it wouldn't be so timely. Do you know the weirdest part of this? It's that he he's clearly guiding me to answer it a certain way, but his answer is garbage. Um, ask what she does for a living because she looks artistic. Uh, I'm surprised this guy's not an American. Um, no offense to you guys, but every time I've walked up to any, man, woman, doesn't matter. Only in America does the conversation go to what do I do for a living within like the first 30 seconds. I have a feeling that's probably what he wants you to ask, but I don't know why for the life of me. Um, don't touch yourself. Don't take off your shirt. I wouldn't start grabbing her ears. Ask what hairstyle she thinks would be good for you. None of these answers are any good. Like, none of them. You know what? The least bad option would be the hairstyle that she thinks looks good for you. Uh, having said that, they have the same hairstyle. So maybe she is a good... Maybe this is... You know, maybe this is a good question. <laughs> that was almost clever. I like that non sequitur. Oh! Dude! Well, at least we agree on that. <sighs> yeah, don't ask if your haircut is masculine. Uh, back in a ponytail. There was actually something in there I was thinking it was very clever, but I've already forgotten what he said. I'm not going to lie. This is like, I haven't wasted my money on a game like this since, uh, yeah, I don't think I ever have. <laughs> Are you single? Introduce yourself. Ask her name. Say it's your name too. Look up her skirt. All right. Um. The way I remember it, and I've been out of the game for a while, was you never offer your name first. <sighs> Having said that, seems a little early for Are You Single? Introduce yourself, ask her name, then say it's your name too. You know what? That's almost a joke, and it's kind of funny. Especially if her name ends up being Steve. Oh. All right, tell me why this isn't ideal there, Chadwick. <laughs> <laughs> 
See? It works a lot, so I'm not working out. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna lay down some wisdom for you guys here. Yeah, she walks, she likes having fun, she goes for appies, she goes for yeah. Um, he just admitted he doesn't like to take charge on things, and I'm sure it doesn't really matter at this point, but in general, it's really bad strategy to say you don't want to take the lead on things. I think he's trying too hard to be your girlfriend, so. And then the other thing, don't ever ask a girl what she likes doing. Girls don't like anything, and if they do, they sure as hell aren't going to tell you. Hey, I like getting drunk on the weekends and railing hot dudes. Like, nobody's going to say that at all, ever. That's why she has, like, milk toast... I like going for walks and uh, watching Walking Dead. Like, absolutely ridiculous. Instead, like, just make something up. Like, assume things about her. I, I actually put out a tweet this morning, if you guys see it, where I said, there's a reason that people love putting ridiculous takes on Twitter. It's because they're the only ones that get engagement because people love nothing more than correcting you. In this case, if he was smart, which he isn't, but I mean, he's smart enough to have a game and make some money off it. So maybe he's smart and I'm the idiot because I'm streaming this for like $2 and 2,000 views. <laughs> make some assumptions about her. All right, we have the same haircut. Would have been hilarious. How do you deal with yours? <laughs> Did you also have the same beard as me? I don't know, you can be cheeky if you want to about it. But just assume that she has a hobby and assume the hobby is ridiculous. And then she'll laugh because it's usually silly. Something over the top, like, I don't know, underwater basket weaving. Maybe she walks dogs for the SPCA. If you're going to buy my book coming next month, it's probably going to be an inside joke. Hopefully you understand that one. But yeah, and she'll totally correct you because people will like to correct you. And the more mouth words you get, the more rapport you build, and the more you guys have established that I'm not creepy. Every answer is ridiculous. I guess, I mean, the phone number, sure, but all he's established is that he likes doing stuff. He's like doing the Ralph Wiggum approach. <laughs> um, sell her on one of your hobbies. Unless your hobbies are selling pickup courses, I don't think she's going to join your skydiving academy. Listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you again. What's your number? Actually, that's not bad, but that was kind of more of like a mystery method opener. It was actually something called the opinion opener. Like, I gotta get back to my friends in a sec. You build up some rapport, then you leave. So when you come back, you're not the stranger. You're that guy that she knew from before. Ugh. And I love how casual you look. I hate girls that always try to look their best. I think he's trying to nag there. But that's so ham-fisted. You know what? The first time he's had a personality, so let's go with that one. Let's be a dick. <laughs> See? Weird thing to say. Yeah, it is a weird thing to say. Comes to mind, you know? Of course, when you say it like that, it's weird. Well, you go have fun with your friends. It was well, kind of nice meeting you. Here's why he got blown out and I didn't. Let him explain it first here. All right, Joaquin, let's hear it. There's basically no time when you would ever need to say something like this. It's a neg, you know, it's making her feel bad. And in the case where the girl seems very nice and violent, oh. and he's like, anti neg. Okay, this might be a personality thing. For me, I actually kind of like that one. Um, I wouldn't use nearly as many goofy words as he did. I love the casual look. I wasn't planning on dressing up either. But you see, afterwards, he just stands there like an idiot. Like, just... Dude, when you say something dickish, put a big goofy smile on your face. Like, you're obviously joking. It's obviously not serious, and you're playing a game. And games are supposed to be fun. They're not just supposed to be magical words. But yeah, he's not selling it, because he has no personality. His only personality is long hair. Having said that, really needs to iron his shirt. Look, guys, if you're going to wear a dress shirt, just iron it. I might put out a video on how to iron it, but uh, that's nice of her. Oh, but she didn't look back. He's blown out. Not good enough. Not good enough. What am I supposed to do, rail her? I hope this isn't it. Who's played this before? Is it is it option C? Tell me it's option C. Have you ever tried climbing? You know, oh. Like, <laughs> I've heard of it. So it's, it's the right option in this case. Is it? Is it though? Okay, so you snow. Okay, I actually do like squash, so. I could see him being a squash player. He's got that goofy, gangly look to him. Those guys tend to kick my ass out there on the court. I just don't understand what's the point. Like, why would you sell her on a hobby? Your whole point for this interaction is to get a phone number and talk to her. Or 
drag her away for an instant date, but I'm pretty sure there's no Applebee's nearby this crap, so what are you wasting your time on? Oh, she asked about my job? Alright. Ass model, then touch hers. Programmer, but it's boring, you wouldn't like it. Say that you're a model scout. Programmer and be passionate about it. This is probably his stupid answer because nerds who program and want to get chicks love to hear that. Oh, you're a C++ guy? Well, let me go down on you now. Um, programmer, but switch to something about life philosophy. And anybody who's been following me can obviously tell you, guys who follow life philosophies like Avola and what have you, wonderful human beings. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> I'd like to squash that. So I'm going to give you a good answer, and then I'm going to pick one of his really ridiculous answers. Um, I used to just say I was an accountant. Again, that same goofy grin I had where it was obvious I wasn't an accountant. <laughs> But I liked it because it was the most boring job that nobody asked questions about. And we can move on to the next topic. I have a feeling he's going to either want to say that you're a model scout or a passionate programmer. This one, because everybody loves to lie about their jobs. Golf Pro would have been the one to pick if he's going to go that hackneyed. But I have a feeling it's a sales pitch. He's going to pick this one. Guaranteed. See, look, she glazed. Even an actor, she glazed right over and she's paid to look interested. <laughs> I wonder what she. I bet you they're watching TV. On the backside there, there's like Housewives of New Ukraine or something. <laughs> Ooh, that is actually fun. Here's the funny thing about this I remember um, there's a chapter from my book too where I talked about it too, and it, they talk about it in Mystery where it was. Um, you're in a cab with a girl, you're driving somewhere. She goes, you know, we're not going to sleep together, right? And right there, it's a great thing on process communication. So a guy will normally hear that and says, we're not going to sleep together. And he's like, yeah, of course, I don't care about that. It's fine. I never would want to do that and profess that, you know, I'm not that kind of guy. You're not that kind of girl. Then you go home and pretend not to watch, you know, if you look at the process behind it, what that tells you is that's what she's thinking about. She was thinking about sleeping the whole time. So she had to get mention it. To establish, like to soothe her ego. She felt a little awkward about it, whatever. In this case, she asks if you stop girls on the street and try and pick them up all the time, which is a good thing in my opinion. That means she knows it's a game. She knows you're playing around and she's cool with it. This is where you show you can play the game. So you have to be able to use subtext and explain what you're doing while saying what you're not doing. Okay, actually, yeah, quite often. Not a bad answer, but it's really boring and bland. Um, be absolutely horrible. Of course not. Never. Never dear. Never defend, excuse, explain, and rationalize. That's a waste of time. Um, if you pick that, you might as well just, uh, might as well just go to her hairdresser and ask to get his number. Not too often, but when I like the look of someone and I'm single, why not? That sounds so convoluted, like he's trying to fit a checklist of stuff in there. I have a feeling that's going to be his right answer. If you have to go bluntly saying that, you're going to kill all the magic. So what did she ask again? It was, uh, so do you automatically walk around pick up girls? I would just make up some story, you know. Normally, no, but my fiancé just died in a sky... Like, if you were passionate about squash, just... My fiancé just died in a squash accident, so, uh, I'm out here to mourn her death, and it's funny, you look just like her. Like, something absolutely... It has to be over-the-top ridiculous. You're just making a story. The idea here is, girls are bored... And so you're entertaining. And when she established that she knows this is a game, then all you got to do is play along. She said, I know you're just trying to pick me up. She says, I'm having fun. Entertain me. And this is that, you know, burden of performance everybody talks about. So I'm going to go with C. Even though D looks really funny. It looks really funny, but I really don't want that language filter cutting me down here. All right, let's go with C. I think C, C. Let's do C. I'm not often at all, but I think when I'm single... When I like the look of someone, I figure, why not start a conversation? Yeah, why not? You never know what will happen. Yeah. Could become friends, could date. Oh, Body language-wise, that's a good thing. And it's something you do in general when you're given report, especially assumptions. Yeah, the reason why assumptions are good is because you'll start assuming things. And you see there, she kind of nods as he's talking. Well, that's usually a positive thing. That means you're on the right track. And if you start seeing this, and you'll be surprised how many people, like, nod and shake their head as you're talking. You can just tailor what you're talking about until you get, you know, the good feelings. All right. So what do you do? You follow up with that amazing line you used about, I don't normally pick up women, but you're special. 
Of course, you know she's special because you know absolutely nothing about her other than she goes on walks. She goes on walks, she wears scarves, she has the same hairdresser as you. Why wouldn't you think that she's special? Because he's flat out lying constantly. And while I don't mind lying, at least make it fun and entertaining. Like reality TV, everybody knows is a lie, but girls are hooked on it. They aren't hooked on boring reality TV. All right, um, why are these answers wrong? Give her your numbers wrong because she's not gonna call you because girls hate rejection. So why would you even do that? A girl could like you, but she still won't call you. And the ones that do, probably looking for a mark. Um, listen, I need to meet some friends, but I'd like to see you again. What's your number? Yeah, that's fine. Close it off when you're ahead, whatever. You know, I live near here and have the apartment all to myself. All right, have a few minutes. Why don't we grab a coffee? Yeah, okay. Great. Hey, great. Hold her hand. <laughs> that's the first thing he said, by the way, that makes any sense. That's the problem with phone numbers is, uh, like, you can build up all kinds of tension, be a lot of entertainment. All right, whatever you say. You know what? I don't really care what you got to say, dude. I'm not buying your goofy course. <laughs> um, yeah, the instant dates are cool, I guess. You kind of want to establish somewhere in the conversation if she's like, I have to go to my exam, I'm going to be late. Granted, if a girl's really into you, they'll blow stuff off, but, you know, I wouldn't really rely on it. But the problem with number closes is, let's say you built up buying temperature and you were like the most charming guy ever. Then you get to that, get the phone number, you call her, you know, a day later, all of it's gone. You're just starting from scratch. It's like doubling your work. And it was something I learned from my time being raised on a ranch when you had to like pick rocks out of fields when you're harrowing them. Never pick the same rock twice. So don't run through all this game if you're just gonna have to run through it all again. Let's see, what are they unlocked? I don't know if I could handle much more of these ones. I don't know. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, dude, that one on the left there, that's crazy eyes. I don't trust her. All right, two beautiful girls sipping wine. You'll need a lot of game. I think he unironically put those in because he knows he's kind of shilling this stuff. Get anywhere with them. Are you ready for the challenge? The one thing I will say is groups of two or go. Um, Groups of three, they're always, like, at that point, you're, like, in a status war, and they love shooting you down to show off in front of their friends. If a girl's out to have fun and meet some boys, they usually go out in either in twos or threes at the most. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Night game's my thing. Let's see what he does here. Ask them if they're talking about you. If they say no, then ask why not. Yeah. Ask if they know what, you're, what you like in a girl. The answer being your... Oh, boy. Ask him to help you chew a present for your friend. Say you recognize her from school. Stealthily creep out from behind the sofa. Um, if you plan on... If they're spies for the Nazis and you want to hunt them down, I would suggest a stealthy creep up. Definitely works, especially for garroting. It gives you a chance to do the one while you're doing like a cross elbow to the second. But in this case, we're going to assume that they're not super secret spies. And Black Widow is not at the table having a, having a martini right now. <laughs> See, I always like the mystery one where it was uh, the opinion openers, but like, do they want to answer it as if I was me or do I answer it as if I was this milk toast guy? Oh, you know what? I don't think he's got the capability to do anything other than ask for a present for your friend. Having said that, what he should have said is if you're going to go with this one, say like, ask me to help me choose a present for my friend's fiance. Something about girl boy dynamics, anything sexual. It doesn't even matter how tangential it is. Here's the thing. I don't like at the beginning here. He never prefaces any of these ones with uh, establishing that he's not there to waste their time. Like girls get hit on constantly. And so the first thing you want to establish is you're not going to creep her out by sticking around for 10 minutes asking her for the time. No Ralph Wiggums. Oh, see, starts with an apology. Absolutely masculine, bro. Hey, sorry, excuse me. See, first off, she would be using the save me eyes right now. Looking around, she'll look at her friend and her friend will tell her what to think. The fact that two girls are instantly locked onto him is completely ridiculous. That never happens, ever, ever. Okay, apparently he's picking up girls in a bar in 1976 where they're getting coupons. <laughs> oh boy. 
No, it's not. It's not. It's not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed. Uh, uh, why? Who suggested this? I swear to God, I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> um, I notice how he glossed over how he started us off with an apology. Nothing, nothing screams frame like apologizing for just being there. Like, have some self-respect, dude. All right, get a little deeper into the subject, or thank you for their advice and ask their names. Whatever, each one's fine. He's gonna screw up either one. Uh, whatever. Um, um, come on, man. Aren't these scanned routines? Why are you umming and awing? See, and he's looking up. He's thinking. Why would you make a game? Why would you film this stuff and not have a script? You shouldn't be thinking. You should be saying lines and just staring at the person. Like, make your mark, dude. Does anybody know what this accent is? Like, what country is he from? And why have they no game in that country? <laughs> Something you could do here, if you had a personality, is you start pitting the two girls against each other. Get them to disagree on something, anything. So his questions, instead of just trying to tell the stupid story, is finding out what the friend wants. She's instead of coupons, she might say a gift card to Bulk Barn. <laughs> and then she'll say, no, the coupon, no Bulk Barn. And he goes like, I don't know which one to do here. Like, get some tension going. That would be at least fun. Even if you're not gonna pick any of them up, the, all three of you could walk away going, you know, that was much better than watching paint dry. Like, thank God for that. So here's what you do with this one, by the way, real question. So I loved you on Game of Thrones. <laughs> What are the dragons like in real life? And then you call the other girl the Stark girl and ask, so when you guys fight on the show, do you get along in real life? Just something goofy like that. It's kind of topical. Obviously, 10 years from now, nobody's going to know what Game of Thrones are, but... He already left. Yeah, they are making fun of him. Didn't really matter what answer you gave. Yeah, I'm going to transition you. Okay, thanks for the advice. Ask their names. What you really want to do here is... I already told you earlier on, you don't want to waste somebody's time by mooching off of them for attention. So get your thing in there, say your bit, have that little bit of entertainment, and just run off. Go get yourself a drink. Go talk to your friends. They're usually anchored somewhere else, or go talk to another set of girls. Heaven forbid you be open and sociable while you're out in a public venue. Then, instead of this, thanks and ask for their names, crap. All you do is you go do your own thing for a little bit, you come back, and now you're not that stranger who has to apologize for saying hi to him. You can just walk up and, hey, you're that guy from before. Yeah, I am that guy from before. I bought you, I bought her that uh, coupon. She just broke up with her fiance, so I wanted to thank you for splitting up their marriage. Now I got my best friend back. Bam. How's that for clever? And I just made that up on the spot with no ums or ahs or apologies or anything. Ooh, awkward silence. That's correct, because, you know, I've trained guys all over the world. Yeah, I'm sure you have. I don't care. The whole lines of questions are ridiculous. It's like, it's like, uh, it's 20 questions. He said, let me guess. That's the first smart thing he's done. There. Oh, I can't pause this stupid thing. The eye roll and that stuff. She's actually finding this a little bit apprehensive, a little bit cheesy, and she's not liking it. Don't pick stuff that's possible. Pick stuff that's absolutely ridiculous and narrow it in based on body language. Eye rolls, head nods, head shakes. When they turn and giggle towards each other, really excited like usually means you're close. Go into details, talk into the girl you like, ask her about her favorite modules, say that it's cute and easier than a real major like math or science. So he's already established that he doesn't like nags. He doesn't think you have to, but I have a feeling that out of all of these ridiculous, <laughs> ridiculous answers, that one's the least ridiculous. He's probably going to say something like compliment or on subjects because nothing, nothing makes a girl like you more than talking about school. Hey, so how was the how was the third semester? What was your grade point average? Oh, that's cool. Do you have your transcripts with you? Yeah. Always ask a girl for transcripts. It shows you value her mind and ask her about her favorite modules. It's cute. I don't even know or care. Um, whatever. Let's start a fight. <laughs> yeah, I saw that in an episode of Star Trek. She's not even invested in telling him off. <laughs> How bad is that when the girl, like, you're paying her to look offended and even she can't be like, eh. 
I don't have the heart to tell you off, man. Thanks for trying. I don't know. <sighs> he has every opportunity here. Like, she keeps throwing him curveballs. Like, hey, hey, pass this test, please. And he keeps screwing it up. But there's tons of ways you could turn this around. It just shows you don't care. Singing is not the way to do it. Dude, if this ends up being, like, the right choice, like, I swear to God, I'm stopping this stream. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, so much for not negging. Negging's off the... Negging's a negative, but uh, <laughs> chastising her life decisions? Good option. Then she starts singing. She's messing with him just to see what he'll put up with. I had a friend in college who used to do that all the time. She would see what guys would do, and it was amazing. The amount of groveling guys would do just because a girl asked them to. Uh, I can't watch this anymore. This guy's killing me. Yeah, 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 whatever. I don't care. What do you actually want to say? Complimenter? I bet you it's complimenter too, isn't it? It's complimenter, isn't it? It's complimenter, isn't it? You blonde girl who's white girl wasted are so smart. You have the smartest personality I've ever seen. She was smart. She'd have gotten them roots dyed before she went out. Yeah, why not? Why not? Because they don't get enough compliments in a day that'll help you stand out. See? Stop saying, is that right? He keeps asking for validation. This whole thing's ridiculous. Just assume it's right. They will correct you. If anything, I think the girl on the left, even though they're paid actresses, the one on the left, I guarantee... Here, actually, you know what? Here, I can't hear him talk anymore. Um, the girl on the left is the one he should be going for. It's something you notice. Go to Starbucks sometime and watch two girls sitting down. And there's always two types of girls that go to Starbucks. There's Stacy and there's Karen. I don't know what to call them. But there's always the one girl who's running her mouth about who she did last night. Wearing an infinity scarf. Blah, 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 blah. The big Jackie O sunglasses. Full on Karen. And there's always the friend who's wearing an infinity scarf for some god awful reason. And have their two hands on the coffee mug like it's keeping their hands warm. And they just sit there living vicariously through their friend. I guarantee you the one on the left is the one living vicariously through a friend. And if you really wanted to mess with these two, ignore Blondie, who gets all the attention already, and start focusing on her still somewhat attractive friend. Because I guarantee you that this one on the right gets very mad when the friend is the one who gets all the attention, because that's not how it's supposed to work. I get all the attention, and you sit there just gleeping off of me. Uh, which one's the leader? Ask her to leave you alone for a little while? No, 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 no. If, she, if you're worried about a friend blocking you there, you got to make her put her on your side. She, like it or not, the mother hen is essentially there to justify whether you're worth keeping around or not. She gets to act like the heavy while the other one doesn't have to do go through the trouble of rejection. So if she doesn't like you, you're not getting anywhere. Uh, I don't know, best friends test. I don't even care. Have you ever done the best friends test? Have you done it? Yeah, awkward. See, instead of asking him these yes or no questions, just build up a story. It's like, I got this great test. You guys should try it. And then just start doing it. And if they don't want to do it, they'll stop. But if they do, they you're not putting it in a position where they have to say yes or no. Oh, boy. I, Dude, I hate this game. Why did I stream this? <laughs> I hate you guys so much. <laughs> it's basically taken five times the amount of time to play this as it does to correct how ridiculous this is. Uh, I don't even know what the question was. All these answers are ridiculous. Be playful about how it's a little incongruent. Okay, girl said something, then said something against it. All right, gotcha. Tell them how you're a vegan and try to convert them. Oh, yeah, apologize for that. Dude, don't double... If you're going to go balls to the wall with a line like that, you can't be like, whoa, 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 just back off for a minute. No, you got to own that. Absolutely ridiculous, champ. All right, whatever. Did it work? Now, this is something I actually heard someone say before in real life. Yeah, that was me. I was using it internationally all around the world. Yeah, don't do it. It's disrespectful to the whammon, fellas. Do I focus on the one I like? Oh, I already told you what to do this one. Give more attention to the one. What? All right, whatever. Yeah, don't ignore the other girl. Okay, he did it, but backwards. More attention to the one you, you don't like to make the one you do like jealous. 
Plus, you never know, maybe the friend you don't like ends up being a better one in the end, but you've been spending all your time focusing on this one, you got this one-itis, it's not cool. Uh, what do I like? Uh, say she screws her dog, say you like watching pit fighting. Uh, she, uh, you know what, I'm gonna go with this one, because I had fish. I had cichlids, a lot of cichlids in my fish tank, it was awesome. They were actually pretty, pretty good to take care of. All right, he has fish, but you don't have cichlids. Dudes. Oh. I don't like this game at all. How long has this stream been going on for? I might have to call this. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I can't stand this guy. I can't stand him at all. <laughs> He's worse than cancer. All right. Um, I'm going to call this one a wash right now. <sighs> um, don't do anything this guy says. It's no wonder that feminists hated us because this is the stuff that they're seeing. And I kind of want to side with, uh, I kind of want to side with the third waivers there. Anita Sarkeesian, you're right. Video games are horribly misogynistic. <laughs> um, thanks guys for checking in on this one. We'll see if I can get the, uh, if I can get the, the courage to try these again, I might do that. But until then, I'm going to leave you to it. It's, I'm out, man. <laughs> That's it. I can't believe this guy. Like I said, thanks for sticking around as long as you did. I don't know how you could handle playing this game. Apparently there's three or four of them done already. And like I said, um, I kind of owe feminists an apology, but they're not going to get one. <laughs> but on that note, smash like if you enjoyed this. Hit subscribe. We do tons of videos. I'm probably not going to stream another one of these ridiculous games again, but uh, feel free. We did the full live stream in Patreon. The link for that's going to be in the description. Come on, check it out. We do a bunch of content, weekly Q&As. It's like the price of a cup of coffee. If you want to support the channel, that's the best way to do it. But on that note, I'm going to leave you guys to it. So take care.